All right, Elite Co. 3 here. Um, here's the, the Mel Ben. Today will be a Mel Ben video. Haven't done one in uh, probably a week or two. I've been doing kind of the PSA showcase videos, but uh, it's always nice to do these videos because uh, there's a lot of variety. And I also made a video, a Michael Vick PSA showcase video, but YouTube editor is not working, so it's got two different clips, and I, I need to uh, merge those together to make the video properly. So. We'll just do some of these. Okay, huge Derek Jeter lot. Um, we'll get to this one in a second, but this was just kind of too much for me to pass up. Um, and the uh, price on it, I want to say it was about 60, 70 bucks, but there's a lot of Jeter to it. And I figured there'd be some good PSA bulk candidates, and that's what I'm after a lot of the time when I'm collecting these days. So the Tops 93, which is a great classic card with great uh, photography then this is 95 collector's choice SE so not a rookie but still an early Jeter we got an upper deck um, that's like action pack 94 I think yeah 94 action pack and then this would be a second year Jeter which is the 94 I got a glare coming in um, 94 collector's choice which is a cool card in itself too and I don't think it's too tough to grade although these black borders could probably be chipped up pretty bad so um, and then there's some Bowman's in here so Bowman's, raw Bowman's usually sell for 10 to 15 bucks. Um, so I think there's three of them. Yeah, I don't like putting the cards in the same case, but I don't want to be a baby either. So three Bowman's as well. Um, so I'll take a look at all these. I just sent off a 500 card order yesterday. So that is on its way out. Um, and it's going to be a while to get that one back. And um, let's see, I got a uh, about a 150 card order that came back on Monday I'll shoot that video soon and then I also have a regular service order I think it's like 10 to 15 cards so that's the kind where you wait about 10 business days but you have to pay like 17 a card so and I'm still waiting on my uh, voucher because this is my eighth year in a row as a uh, PSA collectors club member I, th I always get the platinum just the best value so this is private stock Tomlinson lot. Um, this is the premier date to 95. Just a cool classic Tomlinson in the TCU uniform. Um, haven't tried to grade too many of these, but that's kind of a neat card. Peterson Tomlinson. He just tossed that one in. And then I, I love the Bowman's Best. So Bowman's Best to 14.99 on the back there. So this is just me um, having fun with not vintage i mean I'm, I'm still buying vintage here and there but having fun with um older cards um okay here's some filthy stuff so this is from a guy named portland sports cards this is kind of neat he's got a little newsletter that he sends out very cool so um i picked up a couple cards from this guy he's got a lot of stuff online um, so i am been working on the registries for like Mays, Aaron, Mantle, you know, all the all-time greats. And I'm kind of focused on PSA 6s and 7s just because uh, it's still a great looking card and it's not expensive but not like crazy expensive how the 8s and 8, 5s and 9s get. So this is a nice 59 top 6 with decent centering. Um, can't remember the price on this one. And then a nice 1960 PSA 6. So this is the set that I'm going to work on. For all the all the Hall of Famers I was talking about, and when I get that one better constructed, I'll do a uh, showcase video on that. And check out some of those cards. So, a little vintage mixed in. Um, yeah, I'm still having a great time with older cards. Um, this I just couldn't pass this up. This was an auction. I, it was about 30, 35 bucks shipped, but it's a uh, Fred Taylor. It's the Topps Chrome Refractor. And it also happens to be a PSA 10, so that's just a sick card um, of a good player. So, PSA 10 on that one. And then I want to ask a question to all the people that watch uh, my videos. Did you guys like how for about a month or two I was posting the pop percentages? I was putting like how many 9s, 10s, and 8s, and I'd put a percentage. Um, I don't know if you guys enjoyed that because it, it, it was a, definitely a lot more work, but I thought it added value to the videos, but 
YouTube changed their settings so you can't use the annotations, but I want to bring something back. Um, SP Authentic 2000 Future Watch Moss. I don't really need to say anything about this card. Um, this is raw. Top left corner, there's a little white, so it's not going to be a mint nine, probably. Um, I think this would be a nice candidate for an eight. I'll have to check out the surface, but it's definitely a card that I'd want protected and slabbed. Um, so, neat card there. And then it looks, like, looks like we have a vintage card. Um, Rod Carew, part of the 3000 Hit Club. This is a 74 tops, which is a nice looking set. PSA 8 on this one, so a very solid card. I think this was only like 15 bucks too, so that's sick. I don't have a lot of Carew cards. So yeah, I always, I always get my mail and I toss it in the bin. So this is probably mail from the past month or so. I always have a lot of packages going out and coming in. Um, here's a nice one. This is, a, I, th I want to say 65 bucks, but it's a 72 top. So it's kind of towards the uh, the end of uh, Maze's career, but it's a PSA 8. Um, is it a little off-centered? Yes. But um, overall, you have a nice, very nice looking card. So there's a PSA 8 72 for the Maze registry. And I haven't really gotten into 2017 football cards. I figure I'll have time for that when football starts and they're going to come out with set after set, so I don't have to worry about that really. Um, 66 tops, Mano 5. I think this was like 100 bucks, but uh, I already have a, I think I have a 6 in, in this card, so I'll just kind of keep this one as a backup. So 66 tops, 5. 5s look pretty nice sometimes, you know, the corners are a little. Um, pushed in on the fives most of the time but um this is still a nice example of this card you know i think it for a uh, vintage fives and sixes are fine i think they just if if you've seen what some of the ones and twos look like you have a lot more respect for the five so there's a five mantle um Here's a filthy card. So this is an 87 Bellingham Mariners Team SU-10. So this was graded a while ago with a zero to start. Ken Griffey Jr. These these range from about 150 to 250. But it's a nice card, and it's the first year he had cards. And I'm sure they only pass these around at the uh, the minor league games. I, I can't um, tell you for sure on that. It's just my speculation on that. Team issue cards, which are always, which are very neat cards. What do we have? Okay, we're going with some more 98 um, SP Authentic Feature Watch. Fred Taylor, love this card. You can pick these up for like 20 bucks, which is very low in my opinion for a player that will probably get into the Hall of Fame eventually. Um, so, Future Watch of 2000, Fred Taylor. This is sick. Um, this is a tough pull too from 97 Flair. This is a Hot Gloves Piazza with the uh, kind of like a die cut with the flames in the background. This, this would be a neat set to put together. So there's 15 of them. That's sick. That was about 10 to 15 bucks on that one. I've got Griffey, I've got Chipper, and I've got Ken of that. So maybe I should get the rest. It's actually a player that I just uh, learned about as a slugger. I, th I think I learned her about this guy from uh, Ray from Philly. He was talking about some of the greatest uh, sluggers. So Tony Perez is a 66. Um, it's off center pretty bad, but it's a PSA six. Recently slabbed with the hologram and the white strip. So there's a Tony Perez six. Um, I don't think this is a rookie. I think it's a second year, but still nice. This is filthy. So I had a PSA eight of this, and I'm gonna upgrade to nine and probably sell the eight off. But um, 75 tops is you know the set that I talk about a lot. And this is a Pete Rose PSA 9 Mint, so very, very cool card. Um, 
I'd love to get a George Brett 9. I, I have a couple 8s, but the difference between an 8 and a 9 in price is like tenfold, so I guess I'll be content with uh, the 8 for now. So here's a badass Pete Rose card. Okay, so we're just getting vintage after vintage card now. This is 1994 UD Minor League Derek Jeter. It's got some white scuffing going on on the top edge, so probably be out of contention. The front looks nice though, so I guess you never know. Could have a chance at an 8.5 or something. So there's another Jeter. So a lot of baseball. It is baseball season though. Um, here's a basic card. Tops 2001 Drew Brees rookie. It looks pretty nice too. It's a little, it's not 50-50 centered, but it's close, and the back looks pretty nice too, so maybe a 9, we'll see. There's another Jeter, I don't know why I'm just made on this like Derek Jeter raw card kick. They just go so cheap in auctions, it's hard to resist sometimes, and there's like, it's like kind of like when you break a box of cards and you're hoping to hit something nice it's like I'm buying all these auctions and hoping to pull out a gem of these auctions just a card that looks fantastic you know because I'm not not everybody grades you know some people just list their stuff and um, move on with their day don't worry about third-party grading but for some of us it's fun for others that don't like it and that's cool Um, Fred Taylor, this was like three bucks or something, but it's a the Upper Deck Star Recce 98 and it's a PSA 9 mint, so a nice Fred. A couple um, envelopes. This is nice. Uh, 2011 Bowman Chrome Draft, this would be Francisco Lindor. To me, this is his rookie card. I know Major League Baseball has the thing where they have to like play a game or be on the roster, and then they'll put that little uh, logo on the cards. But to me, it's kind of like the first year that they're in like Bowman Chrome for baseball cards. That's just my opinion, though. <laughs> this is a random buy. It was only like two or three bucks, but I mean, it's a Don Zimmer. This is '63, I believe. '63 tops, and uh, it's in pretty good shape, though. It looks like it would be a candidate for a 6, maybe even a 7. So, Don Zimmer card, raw. Looks like his rookie was uh, before this, so. Cool. He he passed away not too long ago, too. Okay, so this is a kid that... He's, it looks like he's got all the tools to be a future star. And I, I don't do a ton of prospecting with baseball cards just because... For the most part, you're you're gonna get burned unless you got lucky and bought up some like Judge autos or something. But uh, Victor Robles, he's a Washington Nationals center field prospect. I believe he's in high A right now. But um, he's got speed, power. Um, there's still a lot, there's a lot of hype for him right now. I think his Bowman Chrome base auto from this year goes for about 75 bucks. So it's not like he's cheap, but I th I think he's gonna have a good career. But we will never know. So that's the Gold Refractor Nine. Uh, I'll probably snap that. I'm kind of selling off most of my Beckett cards. <laughs> These are fun. I'm gonna, I'm, I started up a binder of Griffey, and all they are is raw 19, 1989 rookies. And I've already got like 10 pages of this card, so. I want to get it open so I can show you the cards. Um, I don't expect. I don't expect any cards from here to be gradable because they're not taken care of properly. Um, they're not in soft sleeves. You'd be amazed by how much just a soft sleeve can help the condition of a card. So when you don't use a soft sleeve, I mean, they're going to be nicked up everywhere. They're in transport, so yeah. Um, these all look like six to eights. There's probably a, a nine in here somewhere. But I believe that's like 25 of the Griffey Donruss, which is... 
fantastic card and everybody knows it. I don't, I don't want to go on a rant talking about the PSA 10 of that card because I've already done it like 20 times. <clears throat> this is neat and it was cheap. It was like two or three bucks shipped. Quantum Leaf Breeze Rookie from 2001 in the Purdue uniform. Not, not number, just the base version. Peyton Manning Prime Rookies, 1998. Just a cool card and a possible candidate. That was probably about three bucks shipped, so nothing too crazy in this order. Uh, maybe I'll bust out some cool stuff in the next one. These have been going for like 20 bucks, which I think is terrible. I mean, it's it's good for me because I'm going to buy them all day at 20 bucks. but I think a Tomlinson uh, rookie auto should be worth more than some of the, the rookies that are coming out now that haven't done anything. So, Dan Garado of Tomlinson, rookie. <clears throat> I love this card, and I, I love this set, even though it's not worth anything, this set. This set was way ahead of its time. So 93 Flare. It'd be cool if uh, Derek Jeter would have been in this set. I bet that would be a big card. But this is the Piazza. This is a second year, and it's the wave of the future. So we're going to end on that. I'll try to do another bin here in the next week or so, and I'll get that PSA video up to later.